Okay. Um. Uh. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Let me see. What do we want to move into? Is we got uh, iTunes. Is that? Oh. Okay, we've talked nothing but good about Apple so far, but me being the devious, I don't like the th things Apple does. I don't like that Apple doesn't like the things I like, person. Uh, I'm wondering if this is just a problem in the States, or is this also being a problem abroad, and what, what you think about it. I'm referring to the fact that, for some reason, Apple devices seem to be incompatible with 2011. They don't like this decade for some reason. I, I, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I did hear about it. And uh, it's funny, I, haven't, I don't actually use uh, the alarm in my iPhone just because I've never actually used it, but uh, I think I did hear that some things did occur over here. So it's iOS in general. It's just, it's like, yeah. yeah it, what's affected are iPhones, obviously. Um, last gen iPods and iPod touches so it's not just iOS but all iOS devices and the latest version of the iPod OS so things like the my touch which is a version of iOS and the all the iPods that have the latest and greatest update because iTunes just wants them to uh, the uh, basically there's something wrong with the clock now if I had to guess, I guess I, my honest guess is this just this is just an oversight somewhere in the code, and basically this is you were wondering what a Y2K bug would look like for those of you who remember Y2K and the whole dear God fear of that. I, it's not it's one of those kinds of error. The, the 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 year changed and all of a sudden it doesn't know what to do with things anymore and it gets them wrong. <laughs> um. I have to say, I'm a little surprised that this error is going on at all. It's, uh, uh, as much as I don't like Apple, I have to say I'm surprised Apple would let this happen. Uh, that nobody thought, let's turn the year forward for the next 20 or 50 years and just see what it does. <laughs> yeah, but also as well, uh, another thing as well, I think Apple are, are taking, they're lucky in their own hands here because of the fact that Obviously, this is now the second time in less than a year that the clock's gone wrong. First of all, it was daylight saving time. Well, okay, daylight savings time, uh, I'm not going to penalize them for. And the reason I'm not going to penalize them for is, I don't know about the rest of the world, but over the last few years, the United States had a conniption when it comes to what the hell daylight savings time is, and that we kept changing the day on which it ends and starts. So, it, it was anything technological, and I do mean anything, that at any point had to sync with a server somewhere else. This includes cell phones, uh, uh, any kind of thing like TV management software that's going to talk to some tuner to get its guide data. It's anything. Any time the clocks changed was just screwed up for a period of either a few days to upwards of two weeks. And that somewhere along the chain of command, what it was asking was using the old daylight savings time standard. And the new thing, why the device was updated, something along the chain of command that it was talking to was on the other time standard. And they said different times and the computer didn't know what to make of it. So it's like one had override authority and everything was screwed up. I'm not, I would love to jump on Apple for that, but I'm not going to jump on them. The people I'm going to blame for that is the damn Department of Energy and that in their infinite brilliance, they decided it would be more efficient if daylight savings time happened in a different way. <laughs> so what, they usually have it in, on the same day because over here it always falls on a Saturday, which means obviously they change the day every well, year. No, no, it's a different date, but it's like the second Saturday of blah month and so forth. And they had this brilliant idea that no, it shouldn't be the second, it should be the first. Well, the first didn't work, so let's try the third. Well, the third didn't work, so let's try the month before. It's like every year it was a different Saturday. So wow. rather than telling computer end or beginning, depending how the calendar was set up, of week blah blah, which would always be correct, week blah blah kept changing. 
So depending how the code had been set up, this was a nightmare for computers to fix. Because <laughs> it's like, you mean it's not going to be the same week it's been for the last 20 plus years? It's going to be a different week this year, a different week that year, a different week the year after that? Make up your damn mind! <laughs> Mind you, though, having said that, I mean, obviously, I suppose the U.S. is Apple's main priority, I suppose, but uh, it does raise questions because over here, we've always changed our day, and, and yet we, I had the same reports from, you know, what was going on over here, so it does kind of question how it comes when other countries probably had theirs already predetermined how that still went wrong. Well, it, it was one of those things, it, the date's always different, but the, so y'all's is not the same, like, second blah of month X every every year? Not to my knowledge, no. Oh, okay. Well, uh, maybe that's what it is. My, my guess would be a certain amount of this you program into these things a profile per location and it's not as simple as going, okay, let's copy all the files from this other profile over this thing. It's not that simple to change. But, okay, maybe that's the U.S. joining the rest of the world. I don't know. Personally, I've always hated the idea of daylight savings time to begin with. It's always felt like it's backwards. When I think the days should be getting longer, they get shorter. When it's like they're never in tune with what the damn sun's doing. It's always backwards. I just know whenever we change the clocks, I'm going to wind up looking at darkness at 8 a.m. And the sun's going to be setting at 9 p.m. I just know that's what's going to happen. And that doesn't make sense to my body. <laughs> it's just, I want it to be night when it's night and light when it's light, damn it. <laughs> well, I said there, there wasn't talk in the UK getting rid of it. Quite frankly, I think they should. Yeah, I, I really do. It's like, it, it, the whole idea is it's supposed to save energy, but I can never figure out how. Because none of us are waking up when we should. All of us are doing things we would never, it, it's a, it, I want to know how much productivity and energy is wasted due to us weak organic creatures having to adjust to the. <laughs> I, know. I mean that's the thing. Yeah, maybe maybe mechanical energy it saves, although that's doubtful. But well, you know what about the energy that the humans have to put in every day? Uh, the idea behind it is we're making the sun. The, the sunlight accessible at times it wouldn't be when it's getting shorter in the winter months so when when our fuel our energy consumption is at its peak which is the winter months because you know it's colder we're having to burn more energy to heat our homes which we're not having to do in the summer months it helps if the solar cycle is pushed later so that the sun's doing some of the work for us but the rea I, that's the logic behind it, in that we'll, we'll, we'll be running our heaters less, we'll be burning less energy, but that's the whole logic behind it. So we're using less energy in the winter months, we have to stockpile for winter less. That's the logic of it. I don't know if it actually ever works. <laughs> Well, like you say, I think that it certainly is questionable, to say the least. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, da, 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 so that's the Apple devices incompatible. Oh, boo, 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 boo. Uh, anyways, we were talking about rumors earlier. Um, what do you think, A, about the fact that there are almost no iPad 2 rumors? <laughs> and I do mean almost none. There, there really isn't a credible iPad 2 rumor. <laughs> Well, there, there, I have heard there are rumors that are supp there's supposed to be cases flying around, apparently. Uh, yeah, that's like the only rumor, and they all disagree with each other. <laughs> like, I've seen some of those pictures of cases. I'm like, you mean Apple's going to entirely change the design one generation out? Yeah, I believe that. That's <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, and also, also, as well, I thought that they, um, that they didn't give out their specs ahead of time anymore. They don't. Uh, 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 I, I, I credit the fact that there's no iOS, excuse me, no uh, iPad 2 rumors to two things. To the fact that there were so many iPad rumors that when the iPad came out, it was one of those, yeah, aww. <laughs> it's like everybody's like, yeah, aww. You mean it, it doesn't, it doesn't? 
polish my. It's like, like it, but it was supposed to, and it was, but it. I, <laughs> of course, everybody who was there at the press announcement was. Yay, Steve! Yay! Yay! But the, the industry as a whole was just one of those kind of underwhelmed. So I think Apple does not want that problem with the iPad 2. So there's like this lockdown, higher than usual for Apple around it. The other thing I blame for this is, of course, all the bad press that came with the iPhone 4 being lost, then... What's the uh, politically correct way to say this? Recovered. <laughs> uh, and that they don't want that problem. <laughs> so, so, but it, honestly, I think you can derive a couple of things about the iPad 2, which I, it, we're all but certain is coming out in the next few months. They're going to show it, and then it'll be on sale shortly thereafter. Uh, I, I'm willing to bet it's going to have a camera. <laughs> yeah. and you know that from all the people who took the iPad 1 apart and pointed out that there's this little slot for a camera that's just not occupied right now <laughs> and there's no actual hole in the case for it <laughs> it's funny that that's not the bit the thing that would make me bet on that is, uh, is actually the fact of the remark he made at WWDC about several thousand Mac, um, iOS devices and iPhone and the iPod Touch now FaceTime, so that's the next step, surely. Yeah, it, it's one of those things. The the iPad is the Apple device that cannot integrate with the FaceTime infrastructure because of lack of a camera, uh, and it's th th there's no way that's going to stay that way. It's just, it's going to have a camera. Now, whether it's going to be a 720 or a 1080 camera. Mm, how many megapixels, what the white balance, it, it, anybody's guess. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if it winds up being a 1080p camera. On the other hand, it wouldn't surprise me if it winds up being a camera almost identical to the iSight, excuse me, to the iPhone camera either that's only 720p. So it, it, it's, it's anyone's real guess there. <laughs> I know other like device manufacturers from Android's point of view have had 1080p, but does, does Apple really want to go that far and then show how superior 1080p is to 720p and you know have to argue again why they're not having stuff like Blu-ray on Macs? I don't know about that. Well, I, I would argue, I, 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 I've bashed on Macs a little bit for not having Blu-ray, but I'm largely arguing, uh, my personal point of view is that physical medium is a dead medium. And CDs and DVDs and all, it, it's dead. The, the reality is we're going to all be downloading it from somewhere. And I don't see there being any disc format for 4K. I see it, 4K is either going to be streamed or digital download. That, that's just what it's going to be. There's going to be no, this is the new CD format for 4K. And, and honestly, I think Blu-ray is a, is a real hit and miss. Because you can get Blu-ray quality from a digital download. And, it's just a question and, of whether they want to push it out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, and I think that's where it's going to go. Now, rather that's going to be streaming, rather it's going to be download through a closed marketplace like iTunes, rather it's going to be some open alternative owned by Hollywood, or a closed alternative owned by Hollywood, that's anybody's guess at this point. But the reality is it's moving forward, and at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure it's going to be compatible with OS X and Windows, and if they're smart Linux, just because if your customers can't access whatever the hell you put it in, they can't buy it from you. It's just that simple. <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, even now, it's funny, one thing we talked about at the end of last year about the fact that they don't have, on the downloads, they didn't have any, like, extras, which is what I like buying them for. Um, they started doing some of that in iTunes now, recently. Mm -hmm. well, so I, 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 I have always said there should be five packages. There should be the single package uh, for, like, video content, episodic. I don't want the whole season, but I want episode 10 of season X. Because like, I liked that episode, but I hated the rest of the season. There should be that. And that's a single, and that's going to be a little bit more. And there should be bundle level one, which is the whole season. Then there should be bundle level two, 
which is the season with like you're talking about extras you know the director's commentary oh i remember when we did this episode it was just horrible it sucked we, we did you know we were asleep but we had to be awake and shocked and it's like, i don't care about that shit but some people live for it uh then there should be bundle four which is that stuff and catch you up this to date you know if it's on season six it's get the last five seasons so you're caught up to date. Then there should be the other bundle, the fifth bundle, and that is the, I miss the physical media, and I want a box set on my shelf. I'm willing to pay twice as much for that physical thing with all the artwork sitting on my shelf. A and pass the buck of producing that to you. They send you a zip file that, that basically, okay, put your CD in the thing and it'll print it out and, it, <laughs> and it'll print your box and it'll give you all the artwork and stuff. Yeah, no, I think that's a good idea. Like, if it, you know, I think that is, you know, like you say, because there will be some people who just will not want to move away from physical media regardless if that's the way to go. Well, no, and true Uber fans, like, th this was something that people were commenting about when the Star Wars DVDs came out. They wanted... They, they they missed the artwork from the old laser discs, and so there was a bootleg version of the original Star Wars that was basically ripped off the laser discs and burned onto the DVD format illegally. That the true fans of Star Wars that was the only one they buy because they're like George Lucas hasn't fucked this one up yet. <laughs> and, and there are people who are just diehard fans of that stuff. Well, that's, that's, that's the thing, isn't it? I suppose and that's, that's the kind of people that, I, like, as you're saying, will buy the physical media and the streaming and all that won't mean a thing. Yeah, and, and honestly, it's, they can charge more for that. And they could actually, if they made it all digital, where like you just download it, but you have to burn the discs yourself and you have to print the stuff to put in the inserts yourself. You have to go down to the electronic store and buy the cases and the discs yourself. Well, then the content producer doesn't have any physical cost. They just have a digital download cost, and it, it's a win-win all around. <laughs> yeah, well, no, like you say, I think that uh, from that point of view, well, that would well, also be one way for them, if, if that's what they want to do, to push it in the direction of the streaming, because obviously some people probably would give up at that stage. But yeah, it, it, it's... And for the people who don't care about any of that stuff and just want the content, like me, it all gets cheaper for us. Because, like I said, it's the multiple tiers. It's, it's what do you want. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. We've covered. What have we covered here?